What's going down? TK coming at you. And today I just want to talk to you guys about uh, protecting your future, ensuring that you have a insurance plan in case it rains, you have an umbrella. You know, when you think about um, personality types, you think about people in general, you know, certain people have more than others. But everybody operates within their own charisma or within their own uh, personality uh, characteristics, you know? So <clears throat> when you think about the video marketing that I do, whether you're interested in what I have to say or not, uh, I, I come at this from a uh, desire to help people uh, my intent is to expose people to information that they may not be exposed to and, and hopefully try to get you to look at things a little bit differently in terms of preparing for your future. Because one thing that I see, uh, just one human being talking to another human being as I interact with people, you know, if you have a casual conversation with someone and you say, you know, what are you doing to prepare for your future? A lot of people can't answer that question. If you say something along the lines of um, what is it that, you know, you're focusing on right now in terms of uh, estate planning, people can't answer that question. So I see a lot of people who only think about today. I see a lot of people who don't prepare for their children, don't prepare for their children's children. So what I'm saying is if you change what you do and you change how you think and then you actually focus on something that will provide your future life with more security then you're going to impact not just you but the people who come after you so I always encourage you know my my um my uh, attention and my um, most of the direction of my videos have to do with encouraging people to diversify internationally, include hard assets to their portfolio, actually get out of paper money and because paper money is not an asset, and then truly get into a, a real measurement of wealth based upon you having alternative forms of money. So if you are successful enough to have $100,000 right now, you convert it to gold currency because gold currency is a hard asset with a physical tangibility that can be measured over time and that will appreciate. If you take the same amount of money and you convert it to cryptocurrency, then you have a disruptive technology that not only stands to play a future, but stands to play an important role in the future because of the fact that we already live in a cashless society. And the fact that the ease of use and the advantageous nature of decentralized money opens the door to freedom because all central authority permission slips control falls away so essentially if you open the door to money that you own manage and control then what you're doing is creating a more successful implementation plan within your financial future I mean, you have to do strategic things that align you with success. And a lot of people have different ideas about success alignment. But there are certain things that can be measured over time. There are certain things that have standed the test of time. Meaning that this has been done before. This has been proven not once, but many times over a long period of time. So these are the things that I'm talking about. If you take the time to include higher forms of money in your life,
then you're going to be more successful than all of these paper money holders that refuse to diversify outside of government issued promise notes. I try to use realistic examples like the government money printed by Saddam Hussein is not worth anything because that government long, no longer exists. So any government promise note is only deemed valuable by the government that prints it. And my suggestion is that you take government promise notes and you convert them to tangible hard assets, alternate currency that is in decentralized nature. You know, if you have international money, you have no limitations. Gold is considered international money, and so is cryptocurrency. Both of those items will enhance your financial future if you're smart enough to position yourself within each item. That means you have to convert a lot of paper money now before time runs out. Now, the issue with time is that everybody feels like they have a lot of it. If you're 21, you feel like you're not going to die at 22. But you can't tell the future. So why not live with a purpose? If you're 55, you feel like everything that you've been doing your whole life is going to stay the way that it's always been when time doesn't stay still. Time does one thing. It changes, and it changes constantly. So... Open your mind, open your mind to higher forms of currency, open your mind to international diversification. Realize that time is short. Realize that the governmental nature of monetary policy in the United States is in decline. Realize that the recession that we're currently in is getting worse. And then all I want you to do is prepare. I try to uh, present information in a calm manner that uh, utilizes effective communication because if you don't effectively understand what I'm saying then I'm wasting my breath so hopefully I've said some things that rings in your head and you do some things because it's one thing to listen there's another thing to do you have to strategically plan for your financial uh, future <clears throat> and you have to excuse me do it for you do it for your family do it for your children because the nature of the economic wealth transfer that's about to take place will have you not participating in e-commerce at all if all your eggs are in paper. Now, a lot of people don't believe that to be true, but in that non-belief, you're not factoring in the real changes that are taking place in the world economy. I'm not gonna go into those examples, but you can see them on the news, you can read them on the internet. There are real changes taking place that affects the nature of fiat currency. And because fiat currency is in decline, time is short for people to transfer from paper money to hard assets, to what some people call real money, but what I like to call international diversification and decentralized currency, higher forms of money. So the last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is if there's a prudent entrepreneur, if there's a smart family member, if there's anybody who wants to save their future and not only succeed through the economic decline, but profit, then you have to acquire alternate currency and acquire a lot of it now if you'd like me to help you through that process please contact me i mean i do this because i'm trying to save someone i'm trying to empower someone and i'm trying to open the minds of someone who feels like cash is the only option when there's two other forms of money that's higher in purchasing power than cash i'm gonna leave you guys with that and hopefully like i say that this message goes out and blesses someone who would never think about diversifying and who would otherwise only have cash.